Okay, today I'm going to show you how to create a microphone pop filter for around five bucks. The materials we're going to use are uh, nylons, which cost me a whole 36 cents at Walmart for uh, a pair of knee highs. We've got some plastic clamps to attach our finished work to the microphone stand. I got a bag of six or eight of those at Lowe's for $1.16. Now if you're looking for these, these are going to be in the hardware section and they're in the drawers with all of the rubber stoppers and odd lot nuts and bolts and that sort of thing. So they're going to be in that general area. And you can get these in all sorts of different sizes. This is right about the size of the boom on my microphone stand. We have a four inch embroidery hoop, which you can go, I was looking for a five inch hoop, but four inch was about the, the, big, it was the biggest I could get without going overkill into a six inch. But that's the range you want is four inch to six, six inch. I got this at Hobby Lobby for 86 cents. Now all these prices include the tax that I paid the sales tax. So this was uh, 86 cents. It's going to be available at any craft store that sells uh, needlepoint, cross stitch, that sort of thing, uh, which includes Hobby Lobby, Michaels, or your whatever local store you have. I have here a one foot length of grounding wire. That's going to be my support for it. You can see it's stiff, but it's also bendable. I straighten that out a little bit. I don't want to bend it up too much right now because I want to make sure I get it in position. And you'll see that I flattened out one end of it and I'll kind of explain that later. And then we come to the most expensive part. The zip ties. I got a pack of 20 8 inch zip ties at Lowe's for $2.26. This is also available at Lowe's. It's a custom cut wire. I just asked the guy for a foot uh, cost me a whole dollar. Um, but you want any sort of uh, rigid solid core wire is going to work. You don't want a stranded wire. You want a solid core wire. And then you could also use something like a, uh, a coat hanger. Uh, that was actually suggested to me after I had already purchased this. So I probably would have gone with that and tried that uh, if I hadn't bought this already. Okay, but the zip ties were $2.26. Grand total for all of these materials was $5.64. The tools we're going to need are a roll of electrical tape, which I am anticipating needing to use to wrap around the boom on my microphone stand so that I can avoid scratching the actual finish on the microphone stand when I when I clamp all this together and I have the wire against it. A pair of scissors to cut the nylons and to trim them once we get them into the hoop. A pair of uh, wire cutters or diagonal pliers as they're sometimes called. That's going to be used to trim the ends of the zip ties and then we've got a pair of pliers. I'm, I've got needle nose, slip joints will work just fine, or a small pair of vice grips, a small channel lock, whatever. All we're going to use that for is to bend this up once, once we've got it figured out. Okay, so I'm going to push most of this over to the side here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to work with the nylon. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the top of that off and then I'm going to cut the toe off. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this, uh, you know, I now have this nylon, stretchy nylon tube. And what I want to do is I want to cut it lengthwise. So I'm going to start at one end here. Okay. And now I've got these two pieces that I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to double up, make it a little bit thicker. Okay. Now let's take apart our embroidery hoop. You know what? Let's just do it this way. We'll grab these two ends. I'm going to get 
sneak in on it. Okay, like I said, you gotta get a little you might need to get a little creative. Make sure you have both layers when you do this. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna stretch it. You don't wanna stretch it too god awful tight. And then we'll just pop it down in here. And that's gonna stretch it just a little bit. Okay, and that'll hold it in place. And then we want to tighten it down. It's nice and tight, not going to come off of there. And then all of this extra, all of this excess, we're going to take the scissors and we're going to trim all that off. But there you've got this kind of stretchy, you know, it's slightly stretchy. few wood splinters on the back there. And that's that's basically our pop filter. That's it. Okay. The rest of it is all mounting. I had originally flattened this to take it to to place it against the boom. But I think so that I don't get a lot any twisting or a lot of twisting, I'm gonna see how well it works here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay this in here. Now I could use the wire and lay it between that clamp and, and just push it right up against the inner hoop. But I think I'm going to use this flat area and, and lay it in there. I saw someone that, that had you know stuck it in through here. And then he managed to somehow tie it around. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay this one and stretch it around this. I may do one through later. But we'll go ahead and kind of cinch it down a little bit, get it close. We'll lay our piece of, uh, piece of wire in there. And uh, and we'll tighten it up if I can get it to tighten up around that. Okay, yeah. I had to I had to pull it in so that it was uh, past the uh, past the knob there. Okay, so now now you want this you're going to want this really tight because you don't want this to slip out really easily. So. What I recommend is taking your pliers, just put them around there loosely so that they kind of rest on the top of the thing, and pull, and you'll hear maybe one, maybe two more clicks, okay? But that's that's pretty solid. That's not going to come off, okay? Now we take our clips, Ping. okay, and we have the makings of our pop filter. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is so I want to make I, I want to make a bend so that I get the the uh, the wire here going perpendicular to what it is. So I'm thinking right about here, exactly 90 degrees. But I want to make sure that I am two to three inches away from my microphone. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a Sharpie and I'm going to set that a couple of inches out and I'm going to mark that and that's where my next bend is going to be and it's going to take it just like this so we'll have a nice stair step shape to it. This doesn't tend to bend exactly where you have the pliers. I'm going to straighten it out so that it's perpendicular with itself. And now, what I end up with is something like that. Okay, what I've done while I was gone was I removed the microphone and this little... Let me move it over a little bit so you might be able to see it better. And this little washer that screws on. I slipped... I slip these on from the top. They'll obviously they'll spread enough 
and you can just pop them on. Doesn't matter. But I just, while I had that off, I slid them on. I then took from my mark and then measured down using the piece plus a little extra. I measured down and I wrapped this with electrical tape. Uh, you don't have to do this if you don't want. Uh, that's completely up to you. I, like I said, I just don't want to scratch up my, uh, scratch up the finish on my brand new mic stand. You'll also see that I went ahead and fed the uh, zip ties in through this. Okay, I'm going to slip this into these two, position it where it needs to be. I'm going to kind of force it a little bit here. Okay, and notice my zip ties are not tight yet. And that's just so that I can move things around. Okay, so I'm going to put one at each end. Okay, I had thought about flattening this end so that this wouldn't swivel, but I, th I think it's advantageous to have it be able to swivel like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my zip ties and carefully tighten up these clamps. Let me clip that off. Ping. Ping. And voila. I have a five dollar pop guard.